Brad, something tells me it's time for a smoke break here at the Ohio History Connection. Well, we're not supposed to do that in the building, but these things are smoking pipes that would have been used in rituals, not for recreational smoking. The people that were smoking these pipes were smoking the native Nicotiana rustica, which would put them into a trance state. And this is Hopewell culture? How old is it? This is Hopewell culture, 2,000 years old, from about AD 1 up to about AD 400. And the Hopewell culture was uh, prevalent in this area, but also prevalent in much of the nation. I mean, this was a center of that culture in Ohio. Yes, they're Hopewell-like cultures around Eastern North America, but Central and Southern Ohio was the heartland where the architecture is its, at its grandest and the artistic creations are particularly masterful. Did, did they cultivate um, the, the tobacco or whatever it is, or was, was it wild? The tobacco was part of the uh, Eastern agricultural complex. So it was domesticated. It wasn't a native Ohio plant. It was domesticated further south and came up with plants like uh, maize or some of the other plants. But, but tobacco was an early one of the plants that came from the south up here. This is kind of green. What is this made of? Well, these are made out of pipestone. And Tremper Mound is right across the river from a, a source of pipestone in Ohio. It's called Ohio Pipestone. And for years, we all assumed, since this was right across the river, that these pipes were made out of Ohio Pipestone. But some archeologists from Illinois came by and studied these using a non-destructive method to determine its composition. And it turns out that the bulk of these pipes are made out of Illinois Pipestone, which makes it part of that Hopewell interaction sphere, partly trade, but also partly, I think, people bringing offerings from far-flung areas to these Ohio sites. So these are pipes used in Ohio. Perhaps they were even made in Ohio, but they're made out of a material that comes from Illinois, even though right across the river was an Ohio pipestone. So it's possible that the site here in Ohio was so important that Hopewell from all over were conducting a sort of pilgrimage to bring items and to have an experience here. I think that's exactly right. Well, these are terrific. Thanks for sharing them with us. Well, thank you.